गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट साई राम लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व रेशियो एंड प्रपोर्शन वी आर इन पार्ट थ्री इन टूडे सेशन फर्स्ट वी विल सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स विच वर गिवन एज होमवर्क एंड देन वी विल प्रोसीड विथ एक्सरसाइज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन एंड सॉल्व मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम दैट एक्सरसाइज सो लेट्स सी हाउ वी सॉल्व द होमवर्क प्रॉब्लम्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री and question number 6 of 12.1 were given as homework let's solve question number 3 children you have to see the figure and find the ratio of a the number of triangles to the number of circles inside the rectangles so we can see that there are three triangles inside the uh, rectangle and how many circles are there there are two circles so what will be the ratio of number of triangles to number of circles it will be 3 is to 2 now b number of squares to all the figures inside the rectangle so how many squares are there inside the figure the in, inside the rectangle there are two squares two squares and total number of figures inside the rectangle they are 7 so what will be the ratio of number of squares to number of total number of figures it will be 2 is to 7 c of question number 3 number of circles to all the figures inside the rectangle so how many circles do we have we have two circles and total number of figures 7 so what will be the ratio of number of circles to number of figures it is 2 is to 7 now problem number 6 b of problem number 6 we have to find the ratio of 98 to 63 okay so 98 what is the ratio of 98 to 63 so we can write this as 98 upon 63 and we can see that 98 and 63 both are divisible by 7 we have shown the division also here so when we divide 98 by 7 we get 14 and 63 can be divided by 7 9 times isn't it so 14 14 upon 9 we get that means the required ratio is 14 is to 9 next problem is problem number 7 of exercise 12.1 children you must all have notebook and pen in your hands and also the textbook and solve the problems those which are being discussed in the class so problem number 7 find the ratio of the following 30 minutes to 1.5 hours here we can find the ratio only when both the quantities are in the same unit so here we have minutes and hours so we will convert 1.5 hours into minutes so 1.5 hours how do we convert it into minutes we will multiply 1.5 by 60 why because 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes so what do we get we get 1.5 into 60 now 1.5 can be written as 15 upon 10 multiplied by 60 okay so 60 and 10 can be uh, the zeros can be cancelled here or both can be divided by 10 and we get 6 so 15 multiplied by 6 gives us 90 minutes so 1.5 hours means it is 90 minutes so we have to find the ratio of 30 minutes to 90 minutes so the ratio will be 30 upon 90 minutes 30 upon 90 now cancelling the zeros what we can do we get 3 upon 9 3 upon 9 when it is divided by 3 in both the numerator and denominator then what do we get we get 1 upon 3 so the required ratio is 1 is to 3 Now, next problem of question seven. Find the ratio of the following. B problem is forty centimeters to one point five meters. 
again here we have the quantities in different units so first we will convert 1.5 meters into centimeters okay so how do we do that we will multiply 1.5 meters by 100 so that we get get it in centimeters so here we should write here centimeters it should be centimeters so we multiply 1.5 by 100 why because 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters now 1.5 can be written as 15 upon 10 multiplied by 100 okay so it becomes 15 multiplied by 10 that means 150 centimeters so 1.5 meters is equal to 150 150 centimeters now we have to find the ratio of 40 centimeters to 150 centimeters so when we cancel the zeros what do we get we get 4 upon 15 so what is the required ratio it is 4 is to 15 next problem c of question number 7 find the ratio of the following 55 paise to rupees 1 again we have to convert 1 rupee into paise we know 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise so what will be the ratio of 55 paise to 1 rupee it will be 55 paise to 100 paise 100 paise so it is 55 upon 100 isn't it so when we divide 55 upon 100 by 5 both the numerator and denominator what do we get we get 11 upon 20 so what is the required ratio the ratio of 55 paise and 100 paise is 11 is to 20. Now let us move on to the next problem that is problem D of question 7 500 milliliter to 2 liters again we have different units so 2 liters we will convert into milliliters how can we do that we multiply 2 liters by 1000 milliliters why because 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter so what do we get 2 liters is equal to 2000 milliliters now we have to find the ratio of 500 milliliters to 2000 milliliters so it is 500 upon 2000 milliliters so when we cancel the zeros what do we get we get 5 upon 20 now 5 upon 20 can be divided by 5 both the numerator and the denominator so what do we get we get 1 upon 4 so 1 upon 4 is the lowest form of 5, of 5 upon 20 so required ratio is 1 is to 4 let us move on to the next problem problem number 8 in a year Seema earns rupees 1 lakh 50,000 rupees 1 lakh 50,000 and saves rupees 50,000 find the ratio of a money that Seema earns to the money she saves so what is the money that Seema earns it is 1 lakh 50,000 and how much money Seema saves it is rupees 50,000 so we have to find the ratio of money Seema earns to money Seema saves. So it becomes 1 lakh 50,000 upon 50,000. Now we have to find the lowest form of this cancelling zeros. What do we get? We get 15 upon 5. Now 15 upon 5 can be further uh, simplified by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 5 so what do we get we get 3 upon 1 so the required ratio that means the ratio of the money Seema earns to the money she saves is 3 is to 1 B of the same problem B part we have to find the ratio of money that she saves to the money she spends so we have to first find out the money she spends how we do that we have to subtract the money she saves from the money she earns so money she spends 
sima spends is equal to money sima earns minus money sima saves so she earns how much 150000 minus 50000 this is the amount she saves so what is the amount that we get as the amount she spends it is 1 lakh so we have to find the ratio of money sima saves to money shiva sima spends so the money she saves is 50000 and the money she spends is 1 lakh so it becomes 50000 upon 1 lakh now we have to simplify this now what we do cancelling all the zeros what do we get we get 5 upon 10 5 upon 10 on simplifying further it gives us 1 upon 2 so the ratio of money sima saves to sima spends is 1 is to 2 let's take the next problem problem number 9 There are 102 teachers in a school of 3,300 students. So, find the ratio of number of teachers to the number of students. So, we have number of teachers 102, and what is the number of students? It is 3,300, and we have to find the ratio of number of teachers to the number of students. So. it is the ratio is number of teachers to number of students that means number of teachers upon number of students so we have 102 upon 3300 both of these can be divided by 2 we have to simplify this so what do we get we get 51 upon 1650 it can still be simplified when we divide both the numerator and the uh, denominator by 3 we get 17 upon 550 we have shown here how 51 can be divided by 3 and how 1650 can be divided by 3 so we get 17 upon 550 so the ratio of number of teachers to the number of students in the school is 17 is to 550 Let's move on to the next problem. Problem number ten. In a college, out of four thousand three hundred and twenty students, two thousand three hundred are girls. Find the ratio of a number of girls to the total number of students. So, what is the number of girls? It is two thousand three hundred, and total number of students is four thousand. 320 so we have to find the ratio of number of girls to the total number of students so it is 2300 upon 4320 now we have to simplify this further we can first cancel the zeros then we can divide 230 and 432 by 2 so what do we get we get 115 upon 216 so the ratio the required ratio is 115 is to 216 now let's move on to b part of the problem same problem so uh, we have to find the ratio of number of boys to the number of girls here number of boys is not, not given we have to find out so what is the total number of students it is 4320 and the number of girls is given as 2300 so what is the number of boys it is total number of students minus number of girls that means 4320 minus 2300 so what do we get we get 2020 by subtracting these two so this is the number of boys so we have to find out the ratio of number of boys to the number of girls so it is to the we have to find the ratio of number of boys to number of girls so it becomes 2020 upon 2300 when we cancel the zeros we get 202 upon 230 we divide both the numerator and den denominator by 2 to simplify this and we get 101 upon 115 So the required ratio, that means the ratio of number of boys 
to the number of girls is 101 is to 115. Now let's move on to the C part of the same problem. What we have to find out? We have to find out the ratio of number of boys to the total number of students. So the number of boys we found out to be 2020 and what is the total number of students? It is 4320. So the ratio of number of boys to total number of students will be 2020 upon 4320. So we will simplify this further. Cancelling the zeros we get 202 upon 432. Both can be divided by 2. So what do we get? We get 101 upon 216. So the required ratio is 101 is to 216. Children this was the last problem of this session. Uh, before uh, I wind up the session let us have a look at the homework. Homework is problem number 11 of exercise 12.1. You have to solve this problem. Out of 1800 students in a school, 750 opted basketball, 800 opted cricket and remaining opted table tennis. If a student can opt only one game, find the ratio of number of students who opted basketball to the number of students who opted table tennis. B part number of students who opted cricket to the number of students opting basketball. And C part number of students who opted basketball to the total number of students. Children please solve this problem. It is a very simple problem and we are going to discuss this problem in our coming session. Thank you.